and welcome to a snow day at Glowforge live stream. Uh, Nick and I are recording this back in December because it, it started snowing yesterday and we realized, gosh, yes. what if we can't uh, come in and do a live stream? We can't let you winter. down out there. So. <laughs> So we're recording this in advance in the event that we can't make it in because of snow and uh, and we're going to do some kind of snow snow themed print for you today and uh, thanks for joining us. Maybe it's uh, snowing where you are. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it if you are. Yeah. Tell us where you're joining from. Uh, if you already have a Glowforge, if you uh, are thinking about getting one, uh, if you already have one and you sell things, we want to see what you sell. Like mm -hmm. just throw your Etsy shop in the, in the chat. But it's great to have you here even though we are not live live today there are live uh current future <laughs> Glowforge experts in the future chatting with you in chat today <laughs> that makes sense didn't it oh yeah absolutely yeah you i'm doing this like spider web diagram yes. now of time and uh yes it's the metaverse thing yeah, yeah, did you see the new start very, spider no no i no i haven't yet but now i guess that explains how this yes, works you so. wouldn't get it okay. um <laughs> So today we're just going to go through kind of like top 10 things that you need to know about Glowforge. So if you've already been researching Glowforge for a while or you have a Glowforge, many of these things you may already know, but they're just kind of like, it's a nice like bow on it, like a nice yeah. wrap up of everything. Mm -hmm. If you just watch this, you can feel confident that you you, you got most of the info, um, but, but I won't stop you from uh, getting stuck in a YouTube rabbit hole because this can be fun. There's some amazing projects on oh, YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, it really is, yeah. Uh, and I would say challenge those people in chat too. Um, you know, throw your questions in there. Ask them the hard stuff. They're experts. Oh, yeah. They'll be able to help you out. And if you are a Glowforge owner and this is new, not new to you at all, <laughs> uh, but you don't mind sticking around, please share everything that you know and love about Glowforge with the people that are watching. Share your top tips, your favorite prints, things that you're printing. Um, I know a lot of you out there are so incredibly generous generous and we are so grateful so oh yeah you know, stick around we love you being there yeah if you if you need any proof of the amazingness going on in uh, the Glowforge community just go on uh, hashtag Glowforge on Instagram mm -hmm. and just see you practically need to refresh with it it's just new yeah. stuff all the time it's incredible Wild. Uh, well, we're going to start with our the number 10 thing you need to know about Glowforge, and, and you, you probably do uh, but it's the most amazing thing it's that Glowforge <laughs> can work with pretty much limitless materials um, either proof grade materials, which are a special line that we developed mm -hmm. to give you kind of a, you know, put, put in the material and press print perfect every time experience. Mm -hmm. Or you can go uh, off piste, as our CEO would say. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Dan, Dan Shapiro show back, throwback term. That means, oh, no, you, go, so means you go off the course, mm -hmm. the skiing course, as you will, and try your own materials. Um, mm -hmm. And we'll kind of talk about how to do both of those. Let me grab some examples. Yeah. We have so many. I mean, where do we even start? Yeah, we're gonna start. So well, let's start with proof grade. Do we have the pack that comes oh, yeah. with it? I can, uh, so when you get your Glowforge, that. it comes with this pack of uh, proof grade material. This is worth about $150, and mm -hmm. it's got a variety of hardwoods, leathers, acrylics, uh, some some uh, prototyping material called uh, what is it called? Dra draft board. <laughs> draft board. <laughs> started the sentence and didn't have the end of it in my head. Um, and so this is a great way to get started with Glowforge uh, because you can print on day one and you don't have to fuss with settings at all. Yeah, you get a taste of the materials. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, you know, take advantage of them, use them. But yes, they've it, uh, got this QR code oh, yeah. on them. The machine reads it and does your settings for you, and that's how they work auto magically. And by, by settings, we mean a combination of speed and power. Uh, it's basically manipulating the laser so it can cut or mark on the surface of the material. Yep. Um, but just to give another example, this is a piece of maple uh, plywood here. Um, you can see again that QR code is down there on the bottom right. And you'll probably also notice that this is looking a little white right oh, now. Yeah. It's a little washed out. And that's because all of these materials oh, uh, actually come up. with a protective coating on them. And uh, if you look at these previous prints that we've done, there's this kind of schmutzy smear um, that is the, the vaporized material being blown across the surface. Mm -hmm. hey, you know, it's fine. Maybe you don't mind. Maybe you're going to sand and paint this. But it's the classic you know. laser look. Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes we want to avoid that. And so with the proof grade materials, we actually added this protective coating, uh, which if we peel it off, you can see how it's peeling off that, that smoke and char at the same time. So the finish underneath is absolutely perfect. And this has actually been sanded and finished with a furniture grade um, like varnish too. Uh, so if you're looking to sell things, it's basically ready to go straight out of the box. Right, no finishing required. Absolutely. If you already have a material that you use, you've been using the same 
plywood from your local hardware store for 20 years to make what you make and you don't want to pick a new material or you want to put everything in the Glowforge, which <laughs> when you get one, that will, be, yeah, yeah, that will be that will be your inclination. <laughs> like, hmm, I've, uh, I've tried dry ice before, not going to lie, that was a fun one. That was interesting. Yeah. I mean, they sent us ice cream to the office. What did they expect? Uh, I mean, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And the results, Bailey? Uh, kind of the smoke rose in the shape of the Glowforge logo. Yeah. It was kind of cool. It was neat. It was like fun for camera <laughs> So effects. you can go real, real nuts with the Glowforge and try all sorts of different things. My best advice for trying something totally new is the Glowforge community forum. You're going to go to community.glowforge.com. It's a big old message board that's been around for going on seven years yeah, now. Yeah. And it is chock full of, um, of materials that people have tested even and a lot of them were tested before we even came out with proof grade. Yeah. So that, that oh, was yeah. all they had to it's do. It's years you know? old. Uh -huh. so, so it's really cool. I mean, go in there and try pumpkin pie, try rock I found on the beach, try a pair of jeans. Um, people have done it and they'll share their results and you can at least use those as a starting point. So uh, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Lots it of- It is one of the best things. Yeah. yeah. And it's, I mean, it really speaks to the versatility of the product too. And you can go from in one day cutting through quarter inch thick solid wood to create something really robust and beautiful to paper uh, to create, you know, a gift tag or a card or something like that that might go with that thing that you were just or printing. Or do an engrave and on the top of your $2,000 computer. Also that, yeah. People are shocked when they see our engraved <laughs> MacBooks. They're like, you really put that in the Glowforge? And we're yeah. like, yeah, I mean, all, all the, the time. That's it. The settings are built into the app. So all you it's have to like do is create tattoos. your design. You're like, I'm running out of real estate yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you just stick it in, press print and that's it. So cool. Uh, all right, number nine, um, the Glowforge app. So Glowforge prints using a web-based app. So you can use it, your Glowforge, from any device with Wi-Fi. So you can use your phone, tablet, MacBook, PC, whatever. You can be um, at a, you know, at a different house, a different country than the Glowforge, mm -hmm. and send it to another Glowforge that you have access to because it's all done through the the great. World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty amazing. It you really do have to is. have someone there to press the button, mind oh, you. Oh, yes. You can't start it remotely. <laughs> yes, and we always recommend could. that you babysit the Glowforge. When it's printing, you watch it. Absolutely. So. Yeah. But I mean, the community is growing. We have Glowforges in many countries around the world. Yeah. Imagine being able to surprise somebody by sending them a print but not telling them what it's going to be, and they just have to watch it appear before their eyes. The, the most real example I've heard of that is um, a teacher who, uh, during COVID, had brought the school Glowforge home and had the students send the designs. Oh, nice. Mm hmm. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Incredible. Um, number, oh, should we start, should we start a We could print? show the app. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think for people out there who are not familiar with Glowforge, the app is one of those sort of black holes, if you like. True, so, true. Yeah, let, let me share my screen and, and explain exactly how it works. ambiguous tech things. You know, the app. The app, yeah. You know, the cloud. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We know all about that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> Uh, so what we're looking at here is the Glowforge app. Now, it doesn't look like very much right now. In fact, it's uh, a couple of rectangles on top of a black rectangle. Um, but if I open the lid of the Glowforge here, oh. thanks, Bailey, <laughs> uh, and throw this piece of material in, when I close the lid, we're going to trigger a uh, what we call a new bed image. And basically, the camera that's in the top of the machine here is going to take a photo of the material, and we're going to see it on our screen. And that is... Feature number one, this is my favorite thing. This is called Live Preview, and it allows you to take your particular design and drag it and drop it and print it wherever you want on that material. There it is. And why this is so powerful <laughs> and why I chose this piece of material in particular is we've already used this for a bunch of stuff, um, but we don't want to waste the material that's around here. So I can actually take my design and position it wherever I want to to make sure it prints successfully. Or, and in this case, I'm going to show you how I could take this design and shrink it down Let's say, for example, we're making a gift tag or something like that. I can uh, shrink it down and fit it right in there. Maybe I want to do two. I can copy and paste, make a second one. It doesn't quite fit, so I could ah. grab both of those and I could make them a little bit smaller again still. Maybe they fit better vertically. I could rotate it too. So as you can see, it's very easy, very simple, very intuitive. It's a drag and drop interface. And if you can use word processing software or something like that, you can be successful oh, with yeah. Watch. Even um, I can drag and drop. <laughs> Even me. Yes. Um, Bailey is very capable. You're putting yourself down there, Bailey. Oh, I mean, I can uh, do lots of things, but design <laughs> is not one of them, you know? <laughs> well, this is the nice thing I think about the app, right? Exactly. It's, it's, I think of it as a compositing tool. You can bring in stuff from everywhere. So you might get designs from a friend who's really good at sketching, and they can scan that design with the lid camera that's right here. Yes. Or maybe you might Spoiler go... Spoiler alert for number six. Right? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, as usual. Uh, or maybe you might want, like, a custom drawing for something. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, a child's birthday. They mm -hmm. really love 
the moon. Uh, so you jump on <laughs> Etsy, find an illustrator, they create a custom graphic for you, you send it to print. But you composite all that stuff in the app just with drag and drop. Now, because of that QR code that Bailey mentioned before, the material itself has actually been preloaded here in the top left. So we don't even have to think about that kind of stuff. Um, likewise, our print settings, our combination of speed and power has already been reset too. And we're basically ready to go. These two things are in position and we can hit print. So it's as simple as that. Now, of course, you can get as complicated as you want. You can dig into those settings. You can get into the granular detail. But if you have an idea and you want to bring it to life, this bit in the middle, Glowforge and the app and proof of materials really takes care of all of it for you, which is, which is kind of neat. Yeah. Really, really cool. Absolutely. We, uh, we actually mentioned using your own materials earlier, but we forgot to say that if you do do that and you make your own settings, you can save them in the app oh, too. Yeah. So it's not a huge pain every time. You can actually hit the little save button, give it mm -hmm. a name so you can use that plywood. Bob's time time Hardware again. Store. Yeah, absolutely. Plywood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hopefully they're sourcing consistently. I don't know. We can't well, make any promises. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Take that up with Bob. Uh, <laughs> hopefully Bob's still around. Um, but anyway, that is going to bring. We have two minutes, 58 seconds on the clock. Uh, we've got one button on the printer and itself, it's which is right here. It's blinking. So go ahead, Bailey. Let's kick it off. Nick does all the work, and then I just press the button because I stand on this side. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I pressed a few buttons in my time, Bailey. It's all yes, right. I'll, yes. I'll let you take it He's for the live stream. He's done it before. That is one of my favorite <laughs> videos of Glowforge. It was an early video uh, on YouTube. It was one of our uh, early forum members, <laughs> one of the first people to get a Glowforge. And, uh, <laughs> He's, he does this whole long video of setting up the print. It's so cool, and it's about and he's doing the whole thing with his like ten year old son and kind of in the background. And then the button glows, glows, and the son's about to press it, and the dad's like, "Oh no!" <laughs> <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> yes, I've waited a long time for this. I thought that was so funny because it just, I mean, it really shows he was having that like childlike excitement yeah, about yeah. the at Glowforge, and I mean, I get it. It's very exciting. <laughs> That's incredible. It just cracks me up. But yeah, we just have the one button on the machine, which I think really um, really illustrates just the simplicity of the machine. There's also just one plug in the back. Mm -hmm. um, it just It's a standard outlet, um, and there's like a little power switch back here as well. So I guess that, that's that's not a switch, that, or that's not a button, it's a switch, right? A, yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting into technicalities just, just now. Just one really. button, just one switch, <laughs> just one cord. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But it really uh, is really simple oh, so, to use. And 30 minutes usually to set up. Um, so, Spoiler oh, alert for oh, number one. Oh, dang it. Shoot. <laughs> not just me getting ahead of oh, it. It's I'm not, okay. I'm not it's looking right. close enough at the script here today. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's, it's so easy to set up. Most people tell us they set it up in about 30 minutes. So, I mean, that just tells you how simple this is. Yeah. Um, well, Nick showed us a little bit of the design. Mm -hmm. Are you going to show us a bit more of that? We, a, we could do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So we're talking about number seven. This is how to actually create something to print with Glowforge. Mm -hmm. um, and it is really simple, but there's some, there's some. Uh, what's what's the term? I don't want it to make it sound difficult, but there, there are some things to know. Let me just show you. That's going to be way <laughs> easier, right? Uh, <laughs> let me go back to my computer. Let so, me open up a Google Slides document really quick, and I'll show you what this means. And it looks like our print is doing really yeah. well. Great. OK. All right. So here I am in Google Slides. Uh, I chose this just because I can access it online really quickly and easily. And you can output both a PDF and an SVG here. So we can print those with the Glowforge. Um, anything that can output a PDF, you can send to Glowforge. And you can cut, score, and engrave. And by that, what I mean is, if I take a couple of shapes here, let's do three sh uh, squares. This. All three squares are the same right now, essentially. And if I send these to uh, Glowforge, um, it won't know what to do with them. Um, it's going to ask me if I want to cut, score, and engrave. And I can do any of that with these particular designs. And that's because the color of the outside of the shape and the color of the inside of the shape tell Glowforge how it can print. Mm -hmm. So to give you an example of this, right now I've got a, uh, a black stroke around this square, and I've got a gray fill. Now, if I take that fill away, um, just like this, I can use this as my cut setting. With this one here, if I take away the stroke, I can use this one as my engrave setting. And if I take away the uh, fill on this one and change the color, I can use this one as my score setting. And what I'm really getting at with this is we've now transformed one object that was multiplied three times into three different objects that we can manipulate in three different ways with Glowforge. 
And Glowforge, in effect, can do three different things. It can cut like a pair of scissors through the material. It can score, which is like using a pen and drawing delicately on the surface. And it can engrave, which is like shading with charcoals and pencil. And by using that different combination of colors, setting those lines to your shapes to different colors, you can control which one of those um, is created, basically, yep. um, on, on your material. And speaking of created, uh, our print, print is finished. Already done. We, we didn't actually explain what this was. Oh, <laughs> we yeah. just like we jumped just like, right la, la, la. in. <laughs> well, surprise, it's related to snow. Uh huh. Um, so. Can you grab that one? Yes. Little feet falling out. We so. always think it's so cool when you pick up the material and it just leaves these little pieces <laughs> behind. Um, the scrap is sometimes just as charming as the actual print itself. Okay, I mean, look at those like so. tiny deer hooves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean tie? Oh, gosh. Right? Okay, so what is this like an elf <laughs> and his tiny elf deer? It could be, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is kind of gift tag shaped, so I scaled it down to make it into a oh, gift tag cute. size. But you know, it could be anything. So what I would do with this, where my brain went with this, is so the, this is the, the set that comes in the catalog has like footprints, so you could use it for a certain holiday character visiting your home mm -hmm. if you wanted. And it has these um, deer prints, and you can make this any size, so perhaps that's for his companion. But then these are like little like these look like leprechaun shoe prints to me. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say it. And so uh, if this were me, I would have the leprechaun visit, and so I would sprinkle like green over yep. it to mm -hmm. in the snow or, or gold dust maybe right that would be really mm -hmm. fun yeah and that's so it maybe once you get inside too and it's you chilly you know you've been out in the snow use the same thing put your uh like powdered cocoa on top of your oh, cappuccino cute. or something oh, like that you know <laughs> you could do so many different things that's so that's fun just stencils by, are really right really i mean it's even so beyond simple. this you could do this um, uh, spray paint through to a wall maybe right? not this design but that you could mix so many stencils with absolutely. your Glowforge. yeah yeah and yeah. we used a piece of fancy material for this but you could absolutely print this out of a piece of cardboard, cardboard. whatever you wanted yep. um so whether it's a permanent thing or a temporary thing it's just so quick and easy to make fun so fun so that uh wait so we just did uh <laughs> so, sorry we're making try true professionals here Ooh! <laughs> so I we just showed you six. a little bit of it yeah about designing uh with design programs which again the main thing to remember is just anything that can kind of export to a pdf um, is a good a good one to use and if you're making your own creations but then kind of how we mentioned before um you also can design with just a pen so nick mentioned like putting in a child's drawing or an artist that's really amazing another really cool uh, technique with this just a pen is okay not literally a pen but <laughs> a handwritten recipe or um, just any kind of memento that you might want to capture forever so this is like you know a handwritten grant nana sweet rolls and we've done it Which, on it was a, a pen originally it yes, was on okay, pen and okay, paper fair, right fair, fair, fair. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, but essentially yeah you can take that thing whatever that might be and that could be nana's handwriting or it could be your business card and you stick it in the mm -hmm. Glowforge. the lid camera itself takes a photo turns it into something you can print like think of it like a 3D photocopier exactly. in some ways, you know? And then you take that design and you just put it on anything you want. Uh, and this is where it starts to get you into trouble because all of a sudden every single thing you own has got something <laughs> engraved on it or personalized in some so way. So true, oh my goodness. Um, all right, uh, if you're thinking about getting a Glowforge, a really common question is what's the difference between the Glowforges? Because we have three different ones. We have a Glowforge uh, Pro, Plus, and Basic. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Pro here today. And um, that's our most popular model, especially among folks who sell things that they make with their Glowforge because it's the fastest and it can kind of work all day, um, uh, including it has some advanced cooling and things like that. So it's just kind of made to be a workhorse for you. Not that the other two aren't. Many people run businesses with basics and pluses, to be clear. It's just the popular model. I think a real reason is the pass-through slot. Yeah. So um, yeah, Nick's showing this giant piece of material. So the pass-through slot allows you to create and print things that are much bigger than the printer itself physically. Mm -hmm. And this is just an example of the material that you can fit in there. It's 20 inches wide, this piece is four feet long, and you slide this through the printer from front to back, and the software chops up your design and basically takes care of all the printing so for you. So instead of opening the lid, you can see the slot on the front under the yellow sticker. You slide it, and there's, one, there's a slot on the back as well. You slide it through yeah. the machine. Mm -hmm. And just to give an example for scale, like this, isn't even the biggest piece of material that you could fit in a, in a pro. I mean, technically, you, it could be infinitely long, <laughs> but this is the biggest piece of material you can fit so inside the, a plus or a base. With this finite, the length is infinite. Absolutely. Yes. Wow, that's a, that's a very powerful <laughs> phrase. I, I, I like that in your t shirt. Um, but yes, so just bear in mind with that limitation with the plus and the basic. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the pro. Super cool. Um, and it's funny, when I talk to Glowforge owners, uh, they often tell me, 
if they don't already have a pro that they're upgrading soon. They, their ideas start getting bigger. Uh, like I was talking to someone <laughs> yesterday who owns a business, and she said, "Oh, I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get getting a pro next." And I said, um, "Oh, do you do you have a product in mind?" She's like, "I've just been starting to get requests for bigger things, ah, and I just want to be able to do it. Yep. Big signage, mm -hmm. furniture, wall art, things like that." So. Yeah. Um, so uh, the differences then are that the pro only has, or is the pro is the only model with the pass through, and it's also mm -hmm. up to three times as fast as the basic at top speed. Um, then the Glowforge Plus is that middle model where it is faster than the basic, and it has some of the upgraded internal components of the, the cooling, but it's not as as fast as the pro, and it mm -hmm. doesn't have pass through. And then the basic model is, you know, the the slowest, but still a really robust and amazing machine that can make mostly everything you see yeah. here with the exception of those few pass-through um, projects. So, yeah. kind of just depends uh, what you're looking to do with the Glowforge. Um, but unfortunately, they cannot be upgraded from yeah. basic to pro. <laughs> uh, the, we haven't figured out how to do that slot no, upgrade yet. No, 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 unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Just don't take a saw to so, your machine. It doesn't work like that. No. It's, <laughs> so, um, yeah, but let us know if you have questions about that in chat. Lots of people can recommend which model um, they have. Now, one thing that is common between all of the models is the need to ventilate yes, them. Yes, number and this three. this is tip number three. Um, now, your Glowforge comes with everything that you need to get printing, including that pack of material we talked about, the power cable, and also this fetching silver uh, dryer <laughs> hose right here that you can use to vent your machine. Yes. And by that, what we mean is when you're printing, there's basically smoke and, and some smell that comes off the material that mm -hmm. needs to be sent outside or away from where you are. It smells bad, it's not mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Um, and you can take that same hose and just throw it out of a window or of a door, something like that. That's what a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. I know both me and Bailey have done that in our time as well. It yeah. works very well. But if you're in a situation where maybe it's too cold or too hot to open the window, you just prefer not to, maybe you don't have a window, you're in a basement, a retail space, we have this product here, which is the Glowforge Compact Filter uh, or Glowforge Air Filter. It's about the size of a recycling bin, has one button on the front again, and just connects to the other end of your uh, silver hose. Yep. And it has a replaceable cartridge in there that uh, after a period of time um, fills up with debris. Essentially, you take it out, dispose of it, get a new one and keep on printing. Um, super easy to yeah. use, uh, better, be, be, wow. Super easy to use and, <laughs> it, what, how am I, I am trying to say this sentence and <laughs> it's not working. Nick loves the filter, he's been overcome <laughs> by <laughs> Yeah, my air is just so clean. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, one of the things I really like about the filter is it actually allows your printer to be quieter oh, yeah. when it's printing too. There's a little toggle inside the app that you enable that quietens the fans down inside here and makes the whole thing quieter, which is yeah. really cool. So yeah, we sometimes get asked about noise level when the Glowforge is running. There is some noise. I, yeah, I, you probably can't hear it when we're when we're talking, which right. is which is great. We're loud, loud people. Uh, no, I would say it's about as uh, loud as like one of those little hand dust busters. Yeah. Um, but then you would assume if you add on another fan of the air filter that it'd get louder, but it actually is a dampening effect. Yeah, so, it's super cool. Yeah, yeah really, really neat. Uh, on to number two. Okay, we're yes. making up some time now. Uh, <laughs> this one is pretty cool. This is another one that I, I feel very proud of. I know. Uh, it took us a little while, yes. but we are now officially the number one laser for schools That's in education. Right. Uh, and I think based on everything that we've shown you and talked about, it's probably pretty obvious why. Yeah. Uh, it is so easy to use. And compared to other technology that schools are implementing, things like 3D printers, CNC machines, this is way safer, Faster. it's way quicker. Yeah. I mean, kids are impatient beings. I know <laughs> I have one at home. Uh, and to be able to get each one of them through a, a project with this uh, every class period is right. pretty cool, right? Yeah. They don't have to wait three hours to print a, a chair on a thing or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, they to get your ideas, throw it into here. Um, and better yet, it grows with them and their abilities too. You know, start at elementary, kindergarten with your hand drawn yeah, pictures of literally your family. The teacher I was talking to that I told you about at the beginning mm -hmm. of the class, that I talked to you the other day, started with the hand drawings. The kindergartners loved it. It uh -huh. was, they have a thing called Community Club on Friday where they do exercise classes and all sorts of different clubs and nice. she was running Glowforge Club. Uh -huh. So cool. So first it started with the kindergartners just doing the hand drawn thing like you're talking about and now it's turned into uh, they've built a lava tube to look like Mars and they're all yeah. making Mars rovers. Like the older kids are making Mars rovers to go through it. So Incredible. Very uh, translatable across all the grades. I know. <laughs> How do I sign up for it's Glowforge a, that's Club? A, that's not a cool uh, like a, a maker school in San Francisco. Wow. Right? Yeah, I wish my school yeah. was like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, anyway, last yes. one, on to number one. And Bailey did give this one away yeah, earlier on. Sorry. It's all right, I it's a good one. I couldn't help it, it's so amazing. <laughs> uh, 30 minutes from box to print, uh, meaning the day that your Glowforge arrives, assuming you have 30 minutes, you can be printing <laughs> that day. Um, I know a lot of people think they might need to like hire help or they are gonna mm -hmm. need to do a video call with us to set it up or something like that. Nay, nay, it's really easy. 
Um, my, my own father, who is a self-proclaimed you know, tech, technophobe, if you will, uh, tried, tried to avoid having a cell phone as long as he could. Um, he was printing the day he got his Blowforge, uh, printing little boxes, sending me pictures, and I was like, wow, Dad. I, uh, yeah, it's, I know, you were ready, waiting by the phone, right? For Seriously. some technical support, but no nope. need at all. He didn't it need is it. really that easy. And uh, it is about, I think, like 55 pounds or something like mm -hmm. that, so you're gonna want a friend to you know, help, help you lift it, but other than that, it's a very simple, self-explanatory uh, setup, yeah. and yeah. you'll be printing that day. And like we said, it comes with that $150 worth of proof grade material. So That's it. you will be ready. And it also, the, the app already has some designs in it to kind of get you started. So no excuses. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And of course, share what you make too. That's, yes. that's the other thing. I oh, mean, please. I wouldn't like to say that it's mandatory, but it's, it's heavily <laughs> encouraged. We love seeing what everybody Again, out there is out, creating. Again, uh, hashtag Glowforge on Instagram. It, I think I, I, I got to check the number. I want to say it's like over 300,000 posts at oh, this it's point. it's going to be a lot. Especially during the holidays. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a ton because um, a lot of people who, you know, have businesses or whatever share on there. But we just love it when you when you share what you're making because, oh, can we show a little bit of that? 255,000 okay, posts okay. right now. Well, we'll it's, be at 300K before I know. I mean, I, yeah. I started that hashtag four or five years ago, five, six years ago, something like that. So that's what? pretty nuts. This, there, and there's, there's such a variety of different stuff that's on here as well. Um, yes. And quite often I'll pause as I'm scrolling on here because I don't really understand what's been made and what's been bought. Because right. the quality of the output is so high. And people combine uh, things, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, Curation it's really and neat. customization, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you know, you buy sunglasses from a factory, but then you customize the, oh. the legs mm -hmm. with leather. Oh, we're not Sorry. London. Yeah. We just changed our Instagram <laughs> password. That's why you got kicked out. <laughs> Sorry, hackers. Okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining our snow day stream. Um, we hope that winter 2022 is treating you all well. Um, we're looking forward to it and um, we'll see you next week. Absolutely. Thanks Bye, everybody. Everyone.